Hey guys, Steven Eric here from Top Guns out of Terre Haute, Indiana. If you've watched the last couple of videos, you notice he's standing in the same spot. I'm staying in the same spot. We're both wearing the same clothes. We recorded them all in one day. Don't tell anybody. All right, here's the thing. We're going to talk just a little bit about optics on pistols. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a quick video. All right. The major difference, some of us don't do well with optics. Some of us do very well right. with optics. I know you went to a training with SIGs out at the SIG Academy. Yep. And that's what was your, that's when you changed. You yeah. decided you were going that direction. Yeah, my problem, Steve, is I have 57 year old eyes. Mm -hmm. And as we all know, when we're sighting down a pistol- that looks has, older than that, I know. I am, yeah. yeah. When we're sighting down a pistol with iron sights, our, our, what we want to focus is that front sight. Well, guess what? These eyes, that sight is not as crisp and clear as it used to be. Sure. So what I've done is I've gone to an optic. I use a Trijicon SRO on my carry gun. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than focusing on the front sight, now what I focus on is the target. And I let the dot superimpose on my target. There's a little bit of training, a little bit of technique that goes into it, but once you get it down, it's a very, very fast, very reliable system. All right, and I know a lot of these guys, a lot of, a lot of speed shooters, a lot of guys for self-defense purposes, have gone this direction. I've not made the transition yet. I tried it, I wasn't good at it. It's mm -hmm. something I'm gonna have to really work at. My, my mind is so trained on focusing on that front sight that it's hard for me to get out of that. Yep. Uh, but, but at the same time, I see where you're going with it and I think I'm gonna be very shortly behind you where I'm gonna have to make that decision because it's either you're- He's always behind me, but yeah. that's another video. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so so where when we're looking at uh, Focusing on the threat versus focusing on your mm -hmm. front sight, that's just a learning curve that we're going to have to get past if we're going it that is. direction. It is, absolutely. You but, know, it's just one of those things that you have to get that down in order to be a, a good pistol shot with an optic on your gun. And eliminates the need for having to wear a bifocal all the time. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I see uh, when I see older shooters come in, to get the front sight blade in focus, they'll need to tilt their head back yeah. to engage the reading portion of right. the bifocal on their lens. Which is not where you want to be. Exactly, you know, yeah. I, I want to be kind of nose down in, in this position, if you will, but these poor guys that are using their bifocals, they're actually doing this right. to engage the front sight with their bifocals. And sure. That, that's not a position I care to be in. All right, so like I said, short and sweet video. Hopefully we've just given you an idea as to why some people choose a, an optic versus a non-optic. We can go into other ideas about battery versus no battery, mm -hmm. electronics versus no electronics. Right. Uh, there whole are different video. Whole different video. But uh, don't hesitate to post down your thoughts down below. Hit your like, share, subscribe buttons. We appreciate you as always. Talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye, guys.